guys, so today I'm so excited to do this video. This is my absolute favorite type of video to do, kind of like hauls with reviews attached. I have didn't just go out and buy these things and I'm like, here's what I got, here's what I got, here's what I got. Those are fun too. I do like those sometimes because it's fun. It's like you're sharing new things with a friend and we kind of like discover if we like them together. My very favorite type to do is this. Like when I've actually used the items, I can give you reviews, I can talk about them. I'm also going to talk about a couple things that I purchased not too long ago. One thing I didn't even show, um, a couple of those L'Occitane, L'Occitane things, um, a candle haul, like a home type candle haul, um, and like a return story situation where I ended up with a crap ton of candles. It's a funny story. It wasn't funny at the time, um, but I've got a lot of reviews on that type of thing and some new things that I discovered. Uh, and then a gift from my friend Jen with some new like jewelry items and little fun things. Um, a Sephora item that I bought that is like life changing. I really love it. I know that's silly to say, but it's really good. And you'll see why when I show you. Basically just one thing that I got um, and some sunglasses and some shoes. I know. It's stuff like from the last several weeks really. Um, so let's get started. I am so excited to talk about these things. So. I don't even know where to start. I haven't even really thought about where to start. Let's go with the candles. So I'm going to make this short and sweet. Maybe I'll, I'll try. Uh, when I went with shopping with my friend Vanessa weeks back, we went to um, the new Buckhead Shopping Center. And it's um, kind of across the street, like off Peachtree, like where the old Cheesecake Factory used to be. And of course, like when I go shopping or whatever down there, I usually go to like uh, Linux or Phipps or somewhere like that. There's a lot of good shopping around there. But they've built this new shopping district. It's a little fancy pants. It's like not where you just go, hey, I'm just going to go shopping today and buy a whole bunch of crap. Um, we went and I ended up buying a bunch of crap. But <laughs> it's like a one time in a long time type of thing. Um, if, if you have not been to like a Diptyque store, I think this is the only one they have in the southeast. If you live near, I would just strongly suggest going. I fell in love with the brand years back uh, when I was shopping at Club Monaco and they were burning the bay candle, the big black one. That's the indoor-outdoor one that I later ended up purchasing. Love it. I've had it for three years, burned the crap out of it. It's only down like that much. It sends up your entire house. It's fabulous. Anyways, I fell in love with that scent um, and ended up getting pretty much every type of candle that they had in that scent and just really loving it. So um, I think I got the 34 one as well. I might do like a whole little video on my collection and like where I have them in my house, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of fun. I think I love candles and do like a whole candle video. That would be fun. I'm getting excited for you candle, but so my friend and I went. The store was beautiful. It was lovely. If you saw my Instagram, I posted a picture of it. It was abso it's absolutely gorgeous, but it's really fun if you've never experienced like the other scents. Like I had not, so it was fun being able to like smell them in person. My friend had never, you know, bought any before, so it was fun that she got to smell them and figure out the one that she liked. She really liked the 34. I showed you a couple things, I think. A couple things that I got from there. Um, I got a couple of candles and things. And then I temporarily lost my mind and I mentioned this briefly in the last video when I was talking, I mentioned this briefly in that video. I thought, let's get a diffuser, why not? And I asked them about the, you know, the hourglass one and they were like, no, don't really go for that. The people in the store were like, it's not super great, blah, blah, blah. But this one's wonderful. It was this, you know, pretty diffuser. They totally sold me on it. It was fabulous, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah. So I ended up losing my mind and bought it. It was ridiculously expensive. I got home and I was like, not really feeling it. Like, I'm a candle person. I like to burn my candles. I don't really get excited about turning on a scent diffuser. And it just, it just seemed like a lot of trouble. I didn't really either like the way that it looked. You know what I mean? I, I, just, well, I just wanted to be in love with it and I wasn't. So I thought, ridiculous, Tiffany, you're not that fancy. Let's go back and return it. I'm fancy about some things. But I just did not, I just thought, okay, a diffuser, I don't know. So I went back and returned it. And the girl was like, yeah, so we don't do returns. We only do exchanges. So I'm standing there like, well, like, have you ever had that experience where you're at a store and you're just like, give me my money, like I just want my money back. And you're standing in this store surrounded by all these ridiculously expensive candles that I did not need. And I'm like, okay, I have a ridiculous amount of store credit. The diffuser was like embarrassingly expensive. So I'm like, that's another reason why I was going to return it. Cause I'm just like, who am I? Like, I just don't. So I'm standing there and I'm like, okay. And she could tell I was kind of like, not wanting to do that, but she helped me. She was really sweet. I ended up finding a lot of good things. Um, so that's my funny little story, but I got the, uh, okay. I kind of forgot which ones I got during that and which ones I got during, I think I, sh I told you guys about this. So I showed you the Rosa Folia that I got 
that was, yes, I bought this that day. Um, I got the black bay candle, which was the only bay candle. I have the regular one, I, you know, just the little clear one that you always see. That's a slightly smaller than this one. I have the giant black ceramic one. Um, but I always wanted this black one. I have not burned this one yet, but I do know this is a wonderful scent. But it's the bay one. This is my absolute favorite scent, what makes me in love with the whole place. And something too, like these are expensive, but I don't buy wallflowers anymore. I just didn't really like putting out all that in our house. And that was expensive. Like if you keep up with wallflowers and buy them all the time, I don't really buy Bath and Body Works candles anymore other than the leaves in the fall, which I've got like an extra one of those. So I probably won't even buy one of those this year. Um, but I feel like these candles are expensive, but I would have never gone and bought this many. Of course I had to because I had the exchange. But I don't mind buying these because they will seriously scent up your entire house and they last for ever like you can buy one and you think wow this is expensive you'll have that candle for years and it's like amazing every time you light it you don't have to burn them such a long time either which I love okay and then the girl said oh this one caught my eye first of all they had like three different ones of these it's by Thomas Thomas Meyer and this is the Palm Beach this is like a <sighs> this is not a cheesy beach scent it smells like suntan oil and like coconuts but like real kind of like oceany it's amazing. This, I think, would be best, though, for, like, a smaller area. It's really creamy and yummy. I put it in our kitchen, and it took me a while to smell it, and I thought, I don't know if I'm going to really like this, but, oh, my gosh, I love it. So, this is a good one, and I just, I really love the way it looked. And now I kind of wish I would have smelled the other two, but I remember I was like, oh, yeah, give me that one. Like, that one smells so good. It's, I felt so stupid having that much store credit. The girl was so nice. And there's, there's a huge surprise that she did for me, too, which is nuts. Um... And then she said, well, have you ever smelled the fig? It's fig, ugh. But she pronounced, she just said fig. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't know. And this is really good. I, I looked at it and thought it's gonna smell really green. It's called fig, but it's very sweet and green. I burned this in our living room, kind of like where my figs are. I kind of changed around some stuff. I moved the fig tree and everything. Again, um, I'll, I'll do a vlog at some point on that. But um, yeah, I put this in there with it. And this is just such a warm, homey, but fresh scent. So I would really recommend that too. And um, then I had had samples of this perfume, the L'Ombre Dans Lol. It's pronounced shadow in the water, or translates to shadow in the water. And it has, it's the one that has a swan on it. And it smells exactly like bay which I love it's a very unusual scent which I like I'm very picky about perfumes I only have a handful now I don't have all those perfumes anymore um, and I'll do a perfume video at some point soon if y'all want to see that but um, I knew I wanted I, I, I've wanted this scent for years but I just haven't been able to justify it they're expensive you know so I thought okay I have this credit I'm gonna get this I don't want to just end up with a bag full of candles which I did but you know um, so it comes in a beautiful box. I love all their packaging. It's very pretty. So you get um, the Dosan and the Lombre Dons. The little Lombre. Let's just call it Lombre. Uh, so it's purse, purse rollers. And this one, if I was going to explain what Bay and the Lombre whatever smells like, it would be like roses and um, a little bit of something else. <laughs> like spicy roses, I guess is how I would describe it. It's amazing. And then the Dosan, she had told me to smell this as well. They have a whole line of fragrance and body and skincare stuff that I had never even really touched on. I just knew I liked that, um, that scent. And the Dosan is like, holy crap, like the best one, right up there with this one, probably even better. I don't know. I'm obsessed with this one. It smells like, um, gardenias like super strong gardenias but nice um it's kind of like gardenia and two rows mixed together super sweet beautiful those scents are beautiful and then like that's that's how I would describe these like it's just delicious yummy beautiful scents I know I'm doing crappy with my time but uh and then this beautiful little velvet pouch to keep them in in your purse so this is a great uh little set if you like like really um what am I trying to say unique sense that's the word I'm looking for you've got to got to got to got to got to this is like foolproof 
this is this is the set you need and then, then I got something kind of I was like did I really just get shower gel but I really just got shower gel I got the laundry whatever and I used this the other day and I'm not kidding like my whole body like it actually was a good like it, it actually was worth it like I think because it, it gave my whole body that scent you know and actually lingered and smelled really good and did a really good job <laughs> I don't know what do you say about a shower gel um, so as she was making a little exchange, she said, you know, you're, she was like, you're a really nice person and I feel so bad that, you know, we couldn't do the exchange. So I'm going to, she'd see me looking at this one candle. It's a $90 candle. She went and just grabbed it off the wall and put it in my bag. And I was like, holy crap. So it's the, um, let me get the box. Because I don't think this scent is written on the bottom. First of all gorgeous and all these containers are unique all they're all like clay these are and then the 34 one is shaped like this and you know all the containers are nice enough to always keep but this one is called um, this is from the 34 collection so if you're online you're looking for this one it's called lay redoubt and it's from the 34 collection and there's a 34 cent but there's also a 34 collection so this to me Smells exactly, but better, like the winter candle from Bath and Body Works mixed with something else that smells a little spicier, like cinnamon. So this one I burned for just a few seconds the other day, and it scented up my entire foyer, went upstairs, our entire house like smelled so good like this, and you can see I just barely burned it at all. And um, that's the thing, these are very strong. But I thought I'm saving this for winter because this is a perfect holiday scent. So the Lay Redoubt is perfect and she gave that to me totally free. Um, she did not know I did video. She didn't do that because she thought I was going to talk about it. She was just very nice and that was very, very sweet of her to do. So that is my huge, <laughs> probably a video in itself, haul. Um, let's talk about, so um, quickly, the whole sunglass fiasco, I'm not even going to go into that. I wanted the big black aviators, um, got the Porsche ones, was not into them. They felt very, aviators feel thin and flimsy anyways, in my opinion, um, but they were very expensive, stupid expensive. Again, I got them, I wasn't in love with them for the price, so I sent them back. Um, and then my friend Jen who actually this is funny she sent me that stuff too that I'm about to talk about she told me about these Quay by Shea but I looked on their Instagram and it says pronounced key but I just look at that word and I cannot pronounce it key but look how fabulous these are they're huge they're nuts I know um I look a little bit like they're very like Tom Cruise like I just anytime I wear aviators I just think that I'm like in the 80s like pilot I really like them a lot and they're just perfect and they were like 50 bucks I ended up getting mine on eBay because these have been hard to find I don't think they're discontinued they're just not in stock anywhere I just got a huge smudge on them so they're the Vivian and I'm gonna look and see if I can find them but I will put the inf information below be careful if you order them on eBay there's some eBay sellers that are just um, essentially just selling them like pre-selling them and then they don't have them like they're not gonna send them to you till later so just be careful with that um, but yeah, I think I would just kind of wait because I'm, I'm sure they'll come back. They feel very good. Like they're thick AV, like they're, they're just solid for the price. They're wonderful. And I kind of want to get more things by this brand, but I ended up finding mine on eBay. Like I said, paid just a little bit more with shipping and everything. Mine were $70. I know I could have just waited, but I just really wanted them. Um, and they came just like they would have. She sent the actual box with the case. And then these, is this something that they come with? They're like a little, like, granny, um, you know, little thing. Might use those with, like, my reading glasses and look really fancy. I really want to look at different ones by that brand because I've always said I'm not a huge sunglass person. I've invested in a couple really nice pairs that I wear the heck out of. But, um, you know, I just, even when I bought that Porsche pair, I felt sick to my stomach about spending them. Like, I'll spend money on some things, but sunglasses, I just don't know. I I just, I wouldn't have like a whole big collection of a lot of them like that, but I feel like you could get quality ones from that brand at around $40 to $50 and have like a good little collection going. So I'm going to look at their other ones. So I am obsessed with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. You guys have known that if you watch me forever and I've gone through so many of them and I've, I've just, I've been obsessed with them forever is what I mean to say. They come in brown now and I'm obsessed, I'm just like, I saw that and I was like, okay. I'm not even going to save this for when I have a big order to place because with the Rouge you get free shipping anyway so it didn't matter. I just thought I'm getting this now. It's um, in Mad Max Brown and I've been using it over the last week and a half, two weeks, and I'm in love. Um, 
I always find that when I wear that tattoo liner, or when I, the, this is the tattoo liner, but it's in Mad Max Brown. When I wore my Trooper, any of the, these tattoo liners, I just felt like, now this one too, I just feel like you can make the wings so much easier. I don't know what it is. I love, I love how it wears. They're not too shiny. They're not too matte. Um, they remove easily, but yet they're long wearing. So the brown I have been really into because lately I've, you know, it still looks intense. It doesn't look obviously brown, but it doesn't look super black and fake. Sometimes black can look a little too harsh. Not fake, harsh. I don't know what word I'm looking for. I still love the black, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. We are doing okay with the time, I guess. I mean, I figured this is going to be, I could have probably separated this into several videos, but I love, I love just... I just want to talk about everything. Um, I got another pair of these Nikes. The no tennis shoe girl has become a tennis shoe girl. I bought the fly knit one. They're called the fly knits. Um, I bought these in black at the Nike outlet. Obsessed. Love them. They have a white sole. And we walk like pretty hardcore like in our neighborhood. Like there's a big route that we take and I knew, okay, I love putting on those black ones with just my regular outfits because I just love it. I, I, they're just comfortable. You don't have to worry about what your toes look like. <laughs> if you don't have a pedicure, it's great for the summertime if you don't wear sandals all the time. I don't know. I'm just obsessed with them. I really love them. They're so comfortable, and I love the way that they look. So I'm really happy that I got those Nikes. I was a little skeptical at first, but I started thinking if I, I wanted to wear them when we walk because they're so comfortable but they're white on the bottom and I wanted to keep them looking nice and we have, um, obviously I mean, we're gonna be walking in asphalt and stuff like that, so I looked to see if there was a pair that had a black sole and I found these on the Nike website. Although I looked the other day and I did not, because I, I showed these in my um, weight loss vlog when I was showing how like I, just my whole philosophy on how I'm lo losing the baby weight, which you guys really responded well to that video. Not that I thought you wouldn't, but I know that's like kind of an, a weird, personal thing to talk about and everybody has different experiences so I'm, I'm glad that you guys really enjoyed that and I'm, I'm happy that you enjoyed that yeah these are the ones I could not find them on the Nike website I believe that they have a blue pair as well that has the black sole so if you want a pair with the black sole just I'll link to them and I, I cannot find this exact color when I was linking for that video but um I just I'm really into these they're kind of like pink and orange. They've got a little bit of more. They're just beautiful and perfect for walking. Um, you know, when we walk, I, every single person we saw on the street, like neighbors, whatever, were like, oh my gosh, those are some bright shoes. And it was always guys that would say that. They'd be like, oh my gosh, those are bright shoes. I don't know. Maybe they thought, what a crazy, like those are the ugliest shoes ever. I love them. And they're kind of like a safety feature because they are like legit day glow. Like they are so bright like in the evening or if you're gonna go kind of at dusk like I'm not kidding they are like the brightest shoes ever and I love them I hate that I waited till the end of the video to do that well not the end but you know I feel like these videos get so long but we do we have a lot to talk about I'm not gonna rush because I like talking to you guys so my friend my friend Jen sent me the nicest gift she is L&M and her she has her um, website and her jewelry line um, it's L&M and then she also has a YouTube channel I'll link to her stuff below but we started talking on Instagram months back and we just kind of became friends and like started texting back and forth a lot and talking and it's just fun to talk about like beauty and stuff like that. So she's really super sweet and, and she sent me some really, really fun things. You guys know like months back I talked about my cuff, my locket cuff that she did in um, the and Olivia's birthstone, which is a garnet, it's really super gorgeous. These are um, 18 karat gold plated. And, um, so she made a few more for me. I love them so much. Um, she made one in a, uh, a ruby, which is my birthstone. And then she also has these new designs. It's the sun or the um, star and the moon, which these are so beautiful. So I'm going to show you these guys close up. I've got my Hermes bracelet, which I need to, I just, I cannot wear things on my right wrist. I don't know why. I just like to stack everything up like crazy. So this is my garnet one, and this is the new um, star one. And I just picked a stone that I thought was pretty. It's sort of a purpley, I think it's Alexandrite. But I just, you know, my clothing is very, like, I don't wear a lot of color. I just thought this would be fun, you know, to have, like, some different colors. So I've got Olivia's garnet. I've got the Alexandrite, 
And then these two, these little smaller ones, you can see I have one right there and one right here. These come in a set of two and they're so pretty to mix with the locket cuffs and just to mix in with any of these, it just makes it kind of all go together. Um, and then this is my birthstone, the ruby, which is so pretty. I love how um, our birthstones are so similar. And that's the other one that comes in the set. And Moon she did in Brad's birthstone, which I thought was really fun. So we've got like the whole family represented. Um, so yeah, if you didn't want to go by birthstones and you just wanted to pick a stone that you wanted, you could do all like diamond. You could do, if you wanted like a more clear look. I think she even has a black stone. I think she mentioned that. I don't know. It's probably on there where you can choose. Or you can just customize whatever and then the stones like have different meanings. So I really am so excited about these. And um, I measured, I have a six inch wrist and this is the smallest size. I remember when she first sent me this garnet one. It was months back and I don't think, I think my wrist was still a little bigger from just the pregnancy and I remember I had to slightly bend it, although the locket cuffs do not bend very easily. It's nice now because she has three different sizes. So this is the smallest size and I have a six inch wrist and I feel like if it were just to be a little bigger, they might fall off, but then you could always squeeze them. So I, I don't know, I mean, that's your call, but um, but the, these, the smallest size fits me comfortably. And then these, the star and the moon, and then these smaller ones, they come in one size because they're thinner and you can squeeze them and they're just more easily adjustable. So um, I just love them. I think they're so unique. Thank you, Jen. That was like, these are my new favorite things. And they're so like meaningful too. So that'd be such a great gift, you know? That would be such a great gift. The rest of the things that she sent me, she sent me a really sweet note and I have been wanting to try this forever. So I was asking her about the Rachel K, if she had tried it or what she thought about it, because I remember her mentioning it in a video a long time ago. And every time I watch a video by Lisa, Lisa Lisa D1, she she's mentioned this stuff for years. Any video, if I ever, any video that I catch of hers, she always mentions this at least once or she's wearing it and her skin always looks nice. And so I asked Jen, because I remember I saw in an older video of Jen's that she had she was going to try this or something anyway. So I asked her what she thought about it and she said she liked it but that she had two so she was gonna send me one, which I'm super excited about. Um, Lisa does sell it, so I don't wanna recommend it or not. I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure it's great but I have not tried it yet. I'll let you know what I think about it. I haven't tried it yet but if I like it, it's good because Lisa sells it and I think it's only sold like Otherwise, you have to order it from overseas, and I don't even want to know what the shipping or the shipping time or anything like that is. So, um, I thought that was cool. And then, um, Jen had, we had texted a long time ago about these. She saw these in a store and was like, does Olivia have Toms? And I was like, no, but she needs some. So, um, she got these. They're just slightly too big for, well, they're a little too big for her, but she'll be able to wear them soon. So, um. But she'll be able to wear them before long because Olivia is a big girl. She is four months old and she's wearing, um, she's outgrowing her six month clothing. She needs to be in nine months. I need to go back to Carter's and get her some nine month white onesies because that's what she lives in. She loves those. And we do too. They're just so easy, you know. But she's already outgrown almost those six month ones. They're just a little too tight. You can see them like they're like separating on her, you know. Um, those things where you can pull them down, like they're just like separating and it's like pulling her down. So I hate to even put her in those. So I need to get rid of her six months. I mean, it's just crazy how quickly, it's just nuts how time is going by so, so fast. Um, so I'll let you know about the Rachel K though. I'm really excited to try that and um, I'm happy that Lisa does sell it if I do like it because then I can order some. Um, and she's just raved about that stuff for years. I'm excited. Um, Ooh, I almost knocked over everything. So just quickly, um, the L'Occitane stuff that I got. I'm not even going to mention like the oil or the um, scrub because I think that's going to be, the scrub's going to be my favorite. So you guys know I love the oil. But um, the other two things that I picked up from L'Occitane was this foaming bath. And um, it's it's okay. I Like some bath things like this, okay, like am I going to run out and repurchase this when I, no. But, but probably, like it's not something that I feel like I have to have all the time. But it's amazing. Like, I could see myself repurchasing it eventually. I mean, it's expensive, but it's like one of those, like, treat yourself type things um, that you wouldn't use every day. Like, you wouldn't just pour it on every day. Um, this, with bubble bath, especially now that I'm taking a lot more baths, like, bath baths, since we have the new tub, um, I wouldn't say this is worth it. 
you always see this product from Lost Aton. This is why I grabbed it because I love lavender and it really smells delicious. But I think my favorite type of lavender stuff is the stress line, the anti-stress, the purple by Aveda. I use those bath salts and um, I have the body cream. So, you know, I just don't think this is super worth it. It made okay bubbles, but they didn't really last a long time and the scent when it was in the tub, didn't smell just like that. You know, it kind of made sort of a soapy smell. So I don't, y'all might really like that and you could try it. I'm not saying that's a crap product or anything, but for me, I definitely would not repurchase that. This is the last thing I'm gonna talk about and then I'll talk about what I'm wearing and stuff. It's the Velvet Serum. And my friend Vanessa and I were really, really intrigued by this because the little guy that was like showing us around the store, he was so into it and he showed us this and he was like, oh, this changed my skin and blah, blah, blah. And, um, I won't go that far. But I would say that this is a cool product, one of those nice to have type things. It's basically a serum for your body like you would use on your face. Um, you're supposed to use like a moisturizer on top of it. Now in store he layered the uh, like a rich body butter over it and it rolled up. He was like, oh this is what you're supposed to do. But then I started noticing, I was, you know how some products will roll up, you know, like as they combine. So that did not work. I don't think that was such a good idea. I don't think that's... Um, but this product itself I just loved. It's kind of like you can see, it's not like a runny serum, but it's a little thinner than a lotion. And it just immediately sinks into your skin. It feels really cool, like legit cooling. And the scent is beautiful. It's um kind of fresh and clean, but a little creamy, a little warm. I, I don't it's very fresh. It's fresh, I guess I would say. But it really does make my skin feel really, really smooth. Sometimes I don't even put a lotion on top of it. But um, it's, it just immediately sinks in. Now, I'm very lazy with lotions and stuff, so at first I was like, really? And now this is another product? Like, no. Not only do I not use lotion all the time, but am I going to use a serum? I find myself really using it a lot because I like it. Um, but as far as saying, wow, it's really made my skin look different, I wouldn't say it has. I don't think it's done anything, like, magical. Um, but it's it's just a cool product. So it's supposed to make your skin look more youthful. Um, sure it's it's fine it's not a bad product it's just one of those like nice to have like little luxury type things and the smell is amazing it smells so good I really really love the smell if not for the smell alone it's good stuff so oh my gosh okay so that's it um, I'm wearing my bobble bar this is the one that has the tassel I don't like the way the tassel looks like I said with my spike necklace that I was so into wearing around the time like Olivia was born I realized very quickly obviously babies grab for stuff and I had to start tucking my stuff and so I really like the way it looks like that and this one I love especially because it's got that little um, like pave little accent so I think more like necklaces like that need to be made to go into your shirt and have a little thing like that that's so cool um, and then these are by Shay Lowe I have been really enjoying okay years back she sent me um, maybe I would say three years ago to Two or three years ago, I think it was like three years ago, she sent me some beautiful things and she makes everything with like um, nice like Swarovski crystals and stuff. So they're really big, nice like crystals, really pretty. And um, this necklace is like one of my favorites. I love it because it looks like that on the front, but then it looks like a mirror so you could turn it and have it look different. But um, she still has this. So anyways, I decided to bust these out. I've been wearing them a lot lately. Just fun. Like I just think it's nice and they're very like sparkly and crazy but they're nice looking. Um, and they're very lightweight so I really like these and they're kind of like gold. They don't really match this because this is silver but it's the same kind of idea. Um, but I love these. The Kyle Richards on the Royal Housewives of Beverly Hills wears Shaylo all the time. Like her, I have the other earrings that she has. The one, the ones that actually are this similar crystal that um, hang a little further. And then she has that giant necklace that you have, have ever seen um, Kyle wear. That's by Shaylo too. So um, it's kind of neat. I've been enjoying her stuff a lot lately again. And then of course my bracelets that I already showed. Um, my top from Target, and it was so funny. The other day, someone said when I was talking about this top, she was like, people were saying something about, oh, Tiffany's fancy, whatever. And she was like, she must not be that fancy because she's literally worn like the same two or three shirts since Olivia was born, and I was like, that's so true. So <laughs> now I have four. No, I'm kidding. But um, anyways, I really like this top. I just like plain stuff, and then you can dress it up with fun things. I don't know. I feel like I've said that a million bajillion times because I have, but it's true. 
And oh my gosh, that's it. So I'm gonna just stop the chit chat, say goodbye, and I will see you all again next week with some new videos. Bye.